On your roll? Alright, full disclosure, I got most of these groceries at Walmart. If I get rated low later, it's not because of fucking my cooking, it's because of the ingredients. <laughs> guys it's me Luke uh, back for episode two last time I had a bit of an issue but it's because Graham threw me you know into the fucking gauntlet into the fire and had me cook stuff I've never cooked before these two things I have cooked before you know everyone wants to be traditional and fucking do a full meal with a side and an entree and it's 2020 we're going through a fucking pandemic we, we were gonna eat an untraditional meal today. It's just gonna be an appetizer on the side, but it's gonna be delicious. Half of it will be nutritious. My specialty is buffalo chicken dip. A lot of people make this a lot of different ways. I can assure you that every other way besides this is mid at best and bullshit at worst. And then we'll be doing some vegan collard greens. Why not keep that thing going until I run through all three or four of my vegan recipes that I have in my head? As you guys may know from watching the round two thing, or if you know anything about my background, I was born and raised in Virginia, so these are two very like southern dishes. Obviously, collard greens is an extremely southern dish, and then fat cheese-based dips are also, I think, a very southern thing. So let me explain to you guys the ingredients, and we'll get going. We're gonna start with the collard greens. Like I said, they're gonna be vegan. Normally, there's like ham hocks, you know, maybe butter, lard, all sorts of animal products. These are gonna be hashtag plant-based vegetable broth, hopefully that adds some unctuousness. You know, mainly the smokiness is gonna come from smoked paprika. Um, I'm gonna add a fuck ton of that. This is good apple cider vinegar. It comes from the uh, mean old guy who sells the apples at uh, the Silver Lake Farmer's Market. Best apples, worst attitude. Obviously, I have these bullshit Walmart uh, greens. They are collard greens, turnip greens, mustard greens mixed together. Uh, I'm gonna use a couple pickled jalapenos, nutmeg, is good in spinach, it's gonna be good in any dark sauteed green that you do, in my opinion. s and basis of everything. Put pepper in fucking jello, I don't care. The buffalo chicken dip, a lot of people are using mayonnaise, sour cream, mid, don't do it. Just cream cheese, I'll say it again, I'll die on this hill, that I would eat one of these unwrapped, just like a fucking ice cream sandwich. I fucking love cream cheese. Graham just had the bright idea that if I get a thousand comments on the net, on this episode, in episode three, I will in fact eat one of these like a bar, uh, like an ice cream sandwich. So let's make it two thousand comments because I don't, I don't, I don't want to kill myself, but I'll do it. I love this shit. Don't get it twisted. Do not get it twisted. Next, obviously, the most important part: hot sauces. We're gonna use mainly Frank's. A little bit of Tabasco for some extra spice, but I don't really want to taste Tabasco because Tabasco is not that good. Blue cheese, obviously. I buy the pre-crumble because it's way cheaper and I've got to cut up like slimy blue cheese. Regular cheese as well. We bought Zesty Ranch Taco Bell cheese. I don't know, I thought it would add, you know, a little je ne sais quoi by, uh, with the Zesty Ranch. Another hill I'm willing to die on, canned chicken for your buffalo dip. Well, you could use rotisserie chicken, you could boil a chicken, you could roast a chicken if you want to be fancy, but uh, why waste your time? to make a mediocre product when this is the A1 fucking buffalo dip of all time. We're gonna start the prep for the collard greens, which involves chopping some vegetables. I got quite a lot of comments about chopping onions last time. Put them in the freezer, run in your fucking sink. Uh, listen, thank you guys. I don't have time for your wives' tales. Life is pain. Nothing worth doing is gonna be easy. This onion's worth chopping. I'm gonna do it the way I did it. I'm gonna try to get through it. Let's get to it. I'm basically gonna chop this entire fucking onion. Uh, I wanna dice it so it kind of breaks down the sauce. Showed you guys how to dice last time. Uh, refer to video one, give me some extra views. If you don't know how to do it, I'm not about to walk you through it this time. I don't know, this one's not as bad. Maybe it's because I bought like a blue fast Walmart onion. But this one's not bad. Oh fuck, actually. I think I spoke too soon. All right, I just gotta get through it. 
Onion's all good, we're chopped. I uh, somehow made it through that. Pretty uh, scot-free, pain-free. Next, I uh, wanna chop some garlic up. Um, I tend to go heavy on garlic. Why not? Garlic's good. Uh, the flavor's stronger if you like break it up or mince it. Something to do with like the cell walls. Deposit that in another bowl. Take out, I don't know, let's say six jalapenos from the pickled jalapenos and just kind of chop them up. You want them to break down the sauce or the pot liquor as we call it. I'm gonna get fucking crucified for adding pickled jalapenos to my collard greens, but I'm, you know, I'm sorry. I just like, I think it'll be good. Cool, so uh, I have my Dutch oven over medium high heat over here at the stove. I'm gonna add uh, a couple glugs of olive oil. That's a clinical scientific chef term. That's how you eat shit up faster, but it's also how you burn shit, so be careful. Takes a pro to do this, Graham. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the onions in. Yeah, it's starting to sizzle, that's good. A lot of onion. One would dare to say maybe even too much onion, but you know, I like onions. I don't really want to add like necessarily a ton of color to these. Um, you don't want like fucking caramelized onions when I make a French onion soup. So I'm going to add uh, a little bit of kosher salt. That's maybe like, uh, shit, that's too much, but um, add it maybe like, I don't know, like a quarter, like a, I'd say a half teaspoon. So while these onions are cooking down, uh, we got a little bit of time. It's time for a new segment on the show. The garlic and jalapenos. Just cook this for like 30, 40 seconds until you can smell the garlic. Maybe add like a tiny little glug of oil just to conduct some fucking heat. Hear that sizzle. That's a good thing. You just don't want it to get too brown. I mean, brown's good with garlic, but really you just don't want it to burn because it'll ruin everything. So keep an eye on it. When the house starts to smell like garlic, that's when you know the time has come. You want to scrape the sides down like you would with anything you're cooking in the kitchen, whether it's onions or whatever Gucci man raps about. Scrape the sides up. This looks good. I'm gonna add one more little kind of like glug of oil because I wanna bloom the spices in the oil two-ish, maybe like three tablespoons of smoked paprika. Paprika doesn't have a ton of flavor. Pepperoncini, bunch of that, and some ground black pepper teaspoon of ground black pepper and basically you just want to toast this in the oil get everything coated you know some of the flavors and these spices are oil soluble which is what you wake up in the olive oil and then some are some are water soluble so they'll be good in the stew side this was good I'm gonna add the greens now they're pre-cut and pre-chopped which for me is just easier they're washed as well because these things are grown in kind of like sandy soils. It will cook down a bit, so I may add the second bag in a minute. But basically, I don't want these onions or spices or whatever else to burn. So I'm now going to add vegetable stock. Not too, too much. You don't want it to make soup. That'll add some liquid, which is good. The greens will also give off a bunch of liquid. I probably won't add salt right now because there's salt in the stock. Um, what I do want to add now is uh, some apple cider vinegar. I like my green super vinegary. I'm also gonna add a little bit of the pickling liquid from the jalapenos because it's also vinegary, but it has some spice to it as well. So I think that'll be delicious. But that is a lot of liquid already. So I may just add the second bag of greens. The real secret is this is also vinegar based. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Frank's hot sauce. Sponsor me. I eat a ton of this shit, which will add some spice, which I like. But this is probably like as bad as much liquid as you want to start with. Like I said, you don't want to make soup, but you do want to have a lot of the so-called pot liquor because it's the most delicious part. Um, and it'll prevent, you know, the bottom from burning. You want to braise these greens, which means to basically cook them in like a simmering liquid. Um, it'll help break them down because they're super tough and uh, have all these flavors come together. Cover this, drop the heat from six to four. 
uh, just so it doesn't burn or evaporate too much and then check on it in like, you know, a little while. Um, I'm gonna straighten all this up, preheat my oven to 400, uh, and then we'll get started on the buffalo chicken dip. Okay, so I just uh, chopped, took my celery, took all the good outer uh, stalks, stalks off of it, chopped the bottom, I washed it, you people were talking shit on my comments, I washed it yesterday, last time. Uh, I didn't wash the turkey, no point in washing a bird, it's gonna get cooked anyway, no one got sick, I didn't get sick, I haven't seen Levi since he ate it, but I don't think he died, top. So we'll put those to the side, and we will start on the buffalo dip. So basically the first step is getting the cream cheese, unsheathing it, peeling back its silver skin, plop it in there, maybe taste it. Bro, I love cream cheese, it's so good. I always eyeball this, it's probably good. And I'm gonna try to whisk this up and not get it all over my shirt. You know, some people may advise you to do this in a bowl. I say, you know, it's easier to clean the table than it is to clean a bowl, right? Oh, God damn it. All right, well, don't wear a white tee while making this. I did it for you guys. Pure aesthetics for the people. It's not about me, it's about y'all. This looks pretty good. This is like kind of where you want it for the next step. I'm also gonna add a couple dashes of Tabasco just for some more heat. Well, that's about as much Tabasco as you want. I guess you could use whatever hot sauce you want, but like buffalo is, uh, is Frank's. Red Devil is also good. It's like kind of like the fucking blue leg version of Frank's is good. Next, I'm gonna uh, crack this chicken open and drain it because you don't want the extra liquid from it. So get that out. Delicious uh, white chicken, white meat I'm assuming. You want the chicken to be evenly distributed inside the buffalo chicken dip. Sometimes I'll add Worcestershire to this. I don't have any, so I'm not going to. It's fully acceptable to add a dash or two of Worcestershire to this. Pour some more umami flavor, as the kids say, as my peers who are professional chefs say. I'm gonna add, you want blue cheese crumbles at the top, but why not, you know, have it all throughout. So, add, oh, it's all fucking soft. All right, um, good. Go blue cheese, man. It's from Dutch, Danish. Was that the Netherlands or? Where are Dutch people from? Is it the Netherlands or is it, fuck. Amsterdam's the Netherlands, right? Holland, it's the oh. same, sh I think it's the same shit. I think it's one country with a bunch of different names. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. I apologize if I offended a whole nation. So basically, you just wanna uh, evenly distribute this in the ramekin. Get a paper towel. Well, um, you want to wipe around the edges because it'll burn if you don't while the rest browns. This is exactly what you want. And then you just want to kind of cover the top of it in the shredded cheese so it can have like a cheesy, crusty layer. This is not like the most low calorie dish ever, but uh, I've been known to eat a full thing of this. Got your cheese on top and then your blue. And again, you just kind of want to like sprinkle this over. This doesn't need to be as evenly distributed, but you want to have pockets and chunks of it throughout. I think that's ready to go in the oven. I'll probably have to put it on the broiler to get it as crusty as I want at the top. What you want it to cook through and kind of like mellow, incorporate all the flavors to mellow out kind of some of the buffalo sauce and some of the heat and make it delicious. It's all hot. You know, I'll just throw it in the middle of the top rack and uh, check in 15 minutes. See where we're at. So yeah, I just checked in on the greens. They're starting to look really good. Um, tastes good. I'm gonna put it down to low because I feel like they're cooking too fast. You really just wanna make sure that like the stems are cooked down. You can't really like cook these down too much in my opinion. You know, I like, I like, like cooked down green beans. I like cooked down greens. We're gonna add the nutmeg. <coughs> oh wait. That eyeball. Well, I'm gonna paint one to look like an eyeball and then do that joke for you again, Graham. So here's the thing with nutmeg. If you buy the ground shit, it's gonna go bad in like two weeks because the oil's in it. So you wanna buy the whole nutmeg, which will last basically forever, and then just use a microplane to grate it. So you wanna grate, you know, like equivalent of probably like a quarter teaspoon in. Put a lot of greens. Might be too much 
that's probably good. You're not gonna really be able to taste it again. It's just gonna kind of like meld in and uh, adds a little something, something, je ne sais quoi, whatever you want to call it, whatever played out phrase you want to use to, you know, say that it's adding something to the dish without being able to taste it necessarily. I'm gonna put this back up too. I won't freak it out. Is it even on? Yeah, it's on. And then. We're gonna have a friend come by and taste them. And it's not fucking Levi's hating ass, it's somebody else. I'll say I'm gonna give it a fucking, uh, I'll give it a six and a half out of 10. Give it a six. All right. Yeah, so as you saw, it was just bubbling up. It was like, you know, it's cooked through, the cheese is melted, but I threw the broiler on probably for a minute or two. Get the cheese layer going, you know? Um, all right, this shit's done. Look at that. Again, this is one of those things like the pot pie yesterday where if you have laminate countertops or something that's not heat resistant, like granite quartz or stainless steel, you may want to put like a towel or something under it so it doesn't burn all the way through your house, through the foundation. Um, but yeah, this guy's done. Pretty much my philosophy for using the broiler is put something in and then when you freak out and think that you may have burned it, that's when you go check on it. Um, so just forget about it and then we're like, oh shit, I left it in the broiler. That's when you go check on it. And it should be pretty perfect and this is pretty perfect because I've made this dish a bazillion times and it's uh, fucking amazing. Oh, let me close the oven. So, Graham, uh... What was I saying? So, once it's out of the oven, you're gonna wanna let it cool, I would say like at least 10 minutes. Uh, otherwise it's going to be extremely painful to eat. I'm gonna try one of these chips though, a little cantina style. Can't really go out and socialize with all the pandemic COVID shit going on, but I truly feel like I'm at the, at the cantina right now eating one of these chips. And then, you know, celery. Yum. <laughs> also, everyone asking uh, asking me how I lost so much weight it was not cocaine. It was just I've been running every day. I uh, don't eat like this. I get all my meals delivered, uh, and if the meal delivery company would like to sponsor me for some promo on this, they're more than welcome to, but until then, I'm not gonna say who it is. Oh, okay, everybody. I like Frank's. Some people like Crystal. Some people like Sriracha. Sriracha is not kind of a hot sauce. I don't wanna get into that. If you use Sriracha with this, I'm, I would fucking tweak. I would not even touch this. Gross. As far as like real hot sauces, uh, what is your favorite? Comment below, do you like Tabasco? I like Tabasco when it's free because I stole it from Chipotle, but I don't necessarily like it that much to go buy it out of the store. Crystal's all right, you know, it's kind of mid. Red Dots, whatever. Red Devil's like kind of like Frank's, but like maybe a little bit better even, but it's also a lot less viscous for whatever reason, so I'm losing belief it's more like oomph than Frank's. So yeah, comment below, what's your favorite hot sauce? You let me know, did I fuck up by using Frank's? Remember, 2,000 comments, I'm gonna eat a stick of cream cheese, so. Whatever the top rated hot sauce is in the comments, I'm allowed to pour onto the cream cheese as I eat it. Hold, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You guys got three days to get 2,000 comments on this video. I'm not gonna like wake up in 2023 and like be like, oh shit, now I gotta eat cream cheese and like a block because someone commented the 2,000 comment. Like, no. You guys got three days to do this, all right? No bots. About to test this thing. I don't, I don't need someone to come raid my buffalo dip. I can do it myself. Shit. <laughs> These light and crispy chips may not have been the best. Uh... Mm -hmm. mm. Man, spicy, 
cheesy, buffalo-y, chicken-y, everything you want. You know, it's like a less disgusting version of putting your favorite food in a blender and drinking it. You know, what's not better as a dip, right? I'm gonna rate this 11 out of 10. Fuck the bullshit. Cranked up to 11. I did it. Put my foot in it, as people say, because this is the Southern episode. I did my motherfucking thing. Delicious. 11 out of 10. Got about another hour on the greens. So it's been about an hour and a half, two hours. I'm gonna taste this for seasoning. I think it's pretty much done. They look good, they're nice and cooked down. I'm not gonna add any extra salt. The sock was salty enough, hot sauce was salty enough, and I added some at the beginning. So these are good, I think they're done. Cool. So greens are done, dip has been done, ate a good deal of it, because it's delicious. Greens are just now done. Um, if only someone was here to you know taste it with me, let me know how it is. Oh, what was that? Oh, hey. What's up? Chris. I don't think I've ever actually dabbed you before. Oh, yeah. It's the first time. I know. For yeah. sure. We live, we live together, so. We, we do live together, we actually. Live together. I want your honest opinion. I made buffalo chicken dip, which you can try with celery or chips. And then I made greens, and I will get you some bowls. I want to try the, the chips. Tastes like a very soft chicken wing, so it's pretty good. It is, it's yeah. supposed to be. And then, with these, I know you're not from the South, but you're from Southern California, so <laughs> fucking, yeah, same shit, right? Have you ever had like calories before? Never. Oh, really? Yeah, it's my first All right. time. So you'll be able to tell me if you think these fucking suck. So this is gonna be a make or break for calories for the rest of my life? Uh-oh. <laughs> I think they're good. It's not what I think. Not about what I think. This tastes like something my mom used to force me to eat when I was a kid. <laughs> it like tastes like, it has good spice to it, but it's definitely one of those things that I would get home from school and I'm like, oh, I made, who knows what it is. Uh -huh. I'd be like, oh, do I gotta eat it? She's like, yeah, you gotta eat it, because I made it. That's, but, that's how it is right now, right? Yeah, but it's, but it's edible. Okay, so uh, out of 10. Mm. Honestly, I don't know how you were supposed to eat collard greens, but if it had some like, Protein, like meat. Okay. okay, so give your give your thing, and I'll, I'll give you my word mine out. Let me give it a seven. Oh. Seven. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So normally you make it with like meat, and you like stew it with like uh, like a ham hock or a turkey neck, and you break the meat up into it. I made them vegan because it's easy to do, um, but you could just as easily add meat. No, add a little bit something more to it for sure. Yeah, if I like meat, I definitely get it like a eight. Okay. I'm gonna give it a fucking seven and a half out of ten. I think it's bomb. Thank you guys for tuning in to Luke's Kitchen. We'll be back soon with more uh, recipes and shit.